Hey guys, it's Henry here, and today we are back for another installment in New Zealand Bird of the Week. For this week's episode, we will be covering an underdog of the bird world, at least from the voting of the last four videos, that being the Reef Heron. Finally, we can dis discuss this bird that you guys have been anticipating for all this time. I hope you enjoy this video. Reef herons are dark grey wading birds which are most commonly sighted off of coastal areas in the northern regions of the North Island. Although similar in general appearance to the common white-faced heron, it is not seen nearly as frequently, and has slightly different feeding habits compared to its more numerous look-alike. Reef herons occur throughout Polynesia, and their predominant prevalence in northern New Zealand is likely due to their preference for warmer climates, which is why birds are rarely, if ever, sighted in the South Island. Because of their widespread distribution over much of the Eastern Hemisphere, this places reef herons as currently least concern as assessed by the IUCN, making this bird so far the most common bird covered in this series. Distributed across Eastern Asia, the Pacific Islands, Australia and New Zealand, there is likely to be distinct variety between populations in different parts of the globe. There are two colour morphs of the species, being white and grey, with birds possessing intermediate plumage occurring also. The dark grey colour morph is the only morph of the bird to be found in New Zealand, and with its grey coloration, it provides the bird with excellent camouflage when patrolling its shoreline habitat. Being wary birds, reef herons are often quick to fly away once approached, but will, on occasion, use man-made structures for nesting, given that they are at a safe distance from people. The New Zealand reef heron population is estimated at around 300 to 500 birds, but they are all regularly seen at the sites where they occur, and populations that have been surveyed have been found to be remaining stable over the past 40 years. Daily feeding routines are influenced by tide cycles, with birds generally coming out to feed on the falling or low tide, with birds occasionally being seen individually, but more often being sighted in small groups, especially when roosting at high tide. When the tides recede, herons primarily feast upon small fish, crustaceans and worms, moving stealthily throughout the water to catch their prey by surprise, occasionally crouching with outstretched wings to create a shaded area underneath to entice prey, which is then rapidly stabbed and or grabbed by the reef heron. However, despite reef herons being a widespread species, they are not immune to conservation threats. The New Zealand reef heron population has been facing ongoing threats from encroachment for development purposes, as well as being vulnerable to people and dogs, which often disturbs groups of individuals. The conservation status of the New, of the New Zealand population was thus changed from nationally vulnerable to nationally endangered in 2013. Thanks for watching this episode of New Zealand Bird of the Week, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. For the next video, you have a new bird to vote for, that being the Blue Duck slash Theo, a unique duck which is featured on our $10 note, but is also suffering the disastrous consequences of mammalian predation, which threatens to wipe out these unique birds forever. With that out of the way, I hope that you, the viewer, consider subscribing, and if you already are, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and watch another one of my videos if you're feeling like it. Until next time, Enjoy all things science. See you later.